Hey, this is the HP Envy printer here. Now I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about it, starting with the top and then I'll work my way down. Starting off on the very top here, you can make copies in two different ways with this. So you can put your photos or um, your, your uh, like papers up here if you wanna make multiple copies. It's typically what you're gonna use this first one for. And you can adjust the size of your paper. If you have like a smaller paper or a larger paper, you can go ahead and use these uh, sliders here. Put your copies in there and then it'll go ahead and print them out. However, the other way you can make copies is right here on the glass. So typically though, in my experience, putting it on the glass right here is going to give you a better quality uh, like picture if you're scanning something or faxing something or even a copy. However, if you're going to be doing bulk, you have like a bunch of copies you're trying to make, then you're going to want to go with this one up here. So on the front here is the touch screen where you can choose some of your different options. So you have copy, scan, a photo, fax, and then you even have like apps. So on the apps, you have things like Google Drive you can access, uh, scan, Dropbox, etc. So if you wanna like fax or scan things uh, to those different places, you can. On the side here, it has more like touchscreen buttons. You can click this back button. If you need help, you click this question mark, and then it has like tutorials that can help you, like how-to videos, um, and it also has like a walkthrough if you scroll down. And then over here is the home button. So if you click that, it'll just take you directly to home. The power button's over here on the side to turn it off and on. And then over here is the Wi-Fi button. Mine's blinking because I don't have it connected to Wi-Fi right now. You can connect this to things like your computer or your phone and things like that and print straight from those devices. Now over here on the side, you can flip this little like flap there and you could actually plug in here a USB drive or an SD card uh, right here on the side. So if you have like, let's say you went on a vacation, you took a bunch of photos, they're on your uh, SD card, you can just plug it directly into there if you wanna print some of them. Now over here in the middle, this is where uh, you can put like your copy paper or photos. So again, this thing can do like copy paper or photos and you just slide it out like this. And then over here, this is where you could put your paper. And same thing, you can adjust the size. So if you're gonna be putting uh, like smaller paper, you can adjust the guides like that or regular size paper, you can leave it out like that. And then up top here, this is where you would print your photos. And then same thing, if you're gonna do like a smaller card or something, you can adjust it, make it as big or as small as you want. And then when you're done, you're ready to go, you just go ahead and put this, uh, put it back on there. Again, this slides out, this is like a trap for your paper so it doesn't go everywhere. You can just push that back in. And then that is again where you put your paper or photos, things like that. When it's time to change your ink, it's really easy. You just pop off uh, the top up here and then you'll see over here on the side, you have like your black ink and color ink. Just go ahead and swap that out. Go ahead and close it. And then your printer will like automatically adjust to where it needs to be. On the back of this printer, this is where your power cable will plug into right there. And it's just a regular two prong, so it can connect to really any outlet. And then on the sides here, you have different like internet connections. So if you don't want to do Wi-Fi, you have your ethernet port right here. And then a couple of regular like landlines. So um, that might be a little old school, but you do have that option as well if you just want to connect this directly to your internet. So overall, I think this is a really good printer, especially because it's a do it all. You can do like photos, you can do documents, all kinds of things. And then if you're going to be using it for work or anything like that, you can do emails or scan, fax. Really good printer here and one that I would recommend.